In the headlines, President Ekufuadu pleased with Supreme Court ruling on Deputy Speaker's right to vote in Parliament. First, Deputy Speaker asked MPs to stop misinforming public on Supreme Court ruling. Ghanaian businessman Jacob Caesar jabs Bank of Ghana over falling CD value. And we'll tell you why 10 medical officers posted to the Upper East in 2021 never reported to work. Welcome to the News in Brief on Graphic Online. <music> President Akufuado says, the ruling by the Supreme Court upholding the right of deputy speakers in Parliament to vote while presiding over proceedings cannot be said to amount to judicial interference in the work of Parliament. There have been growing public debates on the ruling delivered on Wednesday. According to President Kufuado, the legislative powers of the state, which is vested in Parliament, is subject to provisions of the Constitution. He says all organs of the Ghanaian state, including himself as the head of the executive, are subject to the teachings of the constitution. The president said he was happy with the unanimity of the decision given by the Supreme Court, especially as it is the most emphatic way in which the court can pronounce. President Kufado spoke in an interview with Charles Techibwedu of the Daily Guide newspaper on Thursday, 10th March 2022, on the sidelines of Dubai Expo 2020. We're being told that um, the decision of the court amounts to judicial interference in the work of parliament. I'm not quite sure that the people who are saying this have actually taken the time to read the constitution of our country. It says so in black and white. The legislative power of parliament that is vested, of, uh, that is, uh, of the state which is vested in parliament, is subject to the provisions of the constitution. All organs of the Ghanaian state, including me as the head of the executive, we are all subject to the teachings of the Constitution. And I'm happy that the court, and uh, I'm sure as you're aware, the, the Supreme Court, when it is declaring the meaning of the Constitution, and it does so unanimously, that is the most emphatic way in which the court can pronounce. Meanwhile, the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Joseph Osei Wusu says, he is surprised some MPs are saying that following the Supreme Court ruling, Parliament has no right to set rules to regulate its activities. He says the ruling does not mean Parliament is no more a master of its rules. Rather, he says it means Parliament must work within and not outside the Constitution. Ghanaian businessman Nana Kwame Bediakon also called Freedom Jacob Caesar who says his biggest dream is to lead Ghanaian youth out of poverty, has asked the Bank of Ghana to focus more on arresting the fallen Ghana city. Jacob Caesar has hinted of launching a native coin soon by which he intends to liberate the youth from poverty. However, the Bank of Ghana has warned the public against trading in any form of cryptocurrency since such activities are not approved and regulated in Ghana. But Jacob Caesar in a tweet says the central bank should focus on the weakening Ghana city instead of his yet to launch Freedom Coin. Today is just a winners. Today we're celebrating Ghana's independence. And today is the birthday of the Freedom Coin. I just want you to be aware that something is coming and it's just a native coin. There is not much I can say to explain what it is. But just remember the currencies that our fathers, fathers, fathers haven't actually put it in us. We are working on it and Freedom Coin is coming. We end today's news in brief with a story on health. 10 medical officers posted to various health facilities in the Upper East region last year did not report to work. According to the Regional Director of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Emmanuel Kofidochi, the situation is putting undue pressure on health personnel in the region. The Regional Director explains that the region is perceived as unattractive, which makes it difficult to attract critical staff such as doctors, midwives, professional nurses, and physician assistants. He is therefore calling on stakeholders to provide attractive incentives to attract and retain health professionals. Dr. Duchi was speaking at the opening ceremony of the 2021 Annual Performance Review Session of the Upper East Regional Health Services. 
News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching today's edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I'm Ama Echa Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.